this exercise is one of my favorite exercises that I do quite often actually. It's called, called a uh, standing plate curl. So right here, uh, basically uh, a tip on this exercise is I'm only going about 60 to 75% down on this plate curl. Um, basically the reason why is you want to keep your palms parallel to the floor at all times. Okay, so as I do this curl, I'm trying to lift my wrist up towards the ceiling and squeeze my elbows to the sides of my body. You could actually see my peaks really popping out here on the sides. Now as far as repetitions and sets, you know, I do three to four sets of these. My reps vary. Sometimes I'm doing lower reps, some months I'm doing uh, higher reps. Just depends on what program I'm following. I'm always just making sure to mix up the, the workouts and keep that variety going, right? You want to shock the muscles. Um, right here, second exercise is going to be standing dumbbell curls. However, the focus on this is going to be with a center focus. So you can see right here, I'm actually trying to bring the dumbbells to the center of my chest instead of just up to the sides of my body. And I'm trying to focus on rotating my pinkies towards the ceiling, okay? And that's the tip on this one is the more you rotate your pinkies towards the ceiling um, is going to bring out the contraction of that peak of the bicep more because um, just the more you supinate your wrist, your bicep actually shortens even further, okay? So main focus here to the center, rotating the pinkies, getting that good squeeze. All right, guys, so the third exercise is going to be seated dumbbell concentration curl. You might have seen these before, but however, I see a lot of people doing them wrong. Um, so a tip that you want to keep in mind is keeping the mid part of your triceps on the inner thigh. Uh, what I see happen a lot um, frequently is some guys get their elbows on the inner thigh and try to really use leverage to get that dumbbell up. So no momentum here, really trying to keep your arm horizontal or sideways. And same thing, as you curl it up, if that pinky rotates a little bit more towards the ceiling, you're going to feel that contraction way more in the peak of the biceps. All right, fourth exercise is going to be on the spider curls, right? So we're doing a, a dumbbell hammer style spider curl. So these are very, very awesome, man. The, I mean, basically, you're going to feel these a lot differently than the normal spider curls. Uh, tip on this one is pushing those dumbbells together actually enhances the squeeze on top, okay? So you can see right here, I'm actually not allowing those dumbbells to um, come apart at all throughout this movement. So focus on the contraction trying not to use momentum. Uh, great exercise here. And last but not least is our normal easy bar spider curl, which is going to be a close grip rather than wide grip. Um, close grip brings out the peaks more than wide grip. So you can see right here, a uh, tip on this is I'm actually just shifting my elbows very slightly forward as I'm contracting those biceps. And um, that's it guys, that's my top five exercises I've been incorporating. And guys also if you're need, in need of a program that delivers a simple and effective way to build that quality muscle, please check out the membership workout program at wrenchhousept.com. Uh, like always guys, if you have questions, please let me know. And quality over quantity. See you soon.